there everyone, my name is Janine and I'm the children's pastor here at All Saints Church in Lindfield. Welcome to High Five. We have a series of five videos that are five minutes long so we can gather each day, do a fun activity and think a bit more about our faith. Well, it's Tuesday. Can you think of what we might be doing today? Or there might be a clue behind me. That's right, it's pancake day. It's so exciting. I don't know about you, but I love pancakes. Yum, yum, yum. Now as a Christian, we call this day Shrove Tuesday. I wonder if you've heard that term as well. So Shrove Tuesday is also pancake day. Now in this picture next to me, I can see this person obviously likes strawberries and blueberries on their pancakes. I really like lemon and sugar on mine. I wonder if you're like my kids at home and they quite like Nutella and banana. And sometimes if they're very lucky, I'll let them have some marshmallows in as well. But for me, that's a bit sweet as well. Do you know that there are different types of pancake all around the world? So in France, they have very thin pancakes called crepes. And some places have savoury pancakes. I wonder if you've ever had a tortilla, maybe filled with chicken and spicy vegetables. Yum, yum, yum. Well, as you may have guessed, your activity today is based around pancakes. And I've got two activities today. So the first one, I've asked for a bit of help from my Ask Leaders. They are going to show you the best way to flip a pancake. And I did send them a challenge to see how many times they could flip a pancake before it landed back in the pan. Now, the only rule was it had to land back in the pan, otherwise it didn't count. Should we take a look and see how they got on? Well, what did you think? Was it quite funny? Yeah, I think they might need to work a bit harder on their pancake technique. I wonder if you know why we celebrate Shrove Tuesday. Well, it has a lot to do with tomorrow because tomorrow is the first day of Lent. It's Ash Wednesday. And during Lent, Christians will give up something They'll normally have a time of fasting, which means that they won't eat at certain times. Uh, and they'll start thinking more about how they can serve others. And we'll learn more about why they do that tomorrow. But as the last day before Lent, Christians would use up the supplies that they have in their house to get ready for the fasting. So that's why they'd use their eggs up and they'd use their butter up and flour and things like that to get ready. But do you know that pancakes don't just have to be one colour? I've done a fun activity by adding a bit of food colouring to my pancake batter to see if I can make pretty pictures. See what you think. Did you like my rainbow? Hmm, I think I might need a bit more practice. Why don't you have a go at making some fun pictures in your pancake batter? All right, gang, let me pray for you before I leave you with the last task for today. Let's have our wiggly fingers, our washing machine hands, get faster and clap. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we get ready for Lent, Lord, help us to take the time to think about what we might give up, what might distract us away from spending time with you. Heavenly Father, we pray that today our family can come together and that we can celebrate Shrove Tuesday with delicious pancakes 
Lord, thank you that you provide food for us and shelter and family. Help us to remember that there is nothing more important than Jesus in our day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 I agree, amen. Brilliant. I wonder if today you could gather as a family and maybe while you're eating your pancakes, have a think about what you might be giving up tomorrow. And now it can't be something easy because if it's easy, then you're not really putting a lot of effort in. So have a think about something that would be quite hard and a challenge to give up as a test to see if you're gonna put God above that thing. All right, gang, I'm gonna catch up with you again tomorrow. Enjoy your pancakes, whether they're sweet or savory. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.